In this video, we'll see how to create an object that follows a path using geometry nodes. Let's make this default cube follow the curve created in the geometry node tree. Add a curve circle object. Let's set the radius to 10, add a join geometry node, and see the cube and the curve that will be used as a path. Add a sample curve node. Add a transform node. When the position socket of the sample curve is connected to the translation socket of the transform node, you can see that the object moves along the path of the curve. If you change it to a factor, you can control the movement in the range between 0 and 1. If you add a scene time node and connect it to the factor socket, you can check the animation. If you want to create a looping animation, you can add a math node and set it to fraction or modulo mode. Just add one more math node to control the speed. In this basic setup, changing the shape of the curve object does not change the setting to follow the path. This additional freely deformable setting is why you should work with geometry nodes. This video ends here. Thank you.